Once upon a time, a young girl came skipping through the garden. In fact, the garden was in her backyard. She was picking flowers to give to her mum. But living inside one of the flowers was a teeny weeny sunflower fairy. But the girl couldn't hear the fairy's teeny weeny little voice. And there was another problem. Flowers always made the girl want to sneeze. Oh. Look out. Ah. She's going to blow! Suddenly, a gust of wind blew the sunflower fairy high up into a tree and she landed smack bang in the middle of a bird's nest. But Mother Bird was not impressed. The wind blew the sunflower fairy higher and higher until she landed gently on a fluffy cloud. It was a noisy little helicopter. Just then, as the rain was pouring down all around, a fantastic rainbow appeared right next to the sunflower fairy. And you know what? The teeny weeny sunflower fairy landed right back in the middle of her sunflower patch. She found a new sunflower to live in and she never forgot the day that she went flying in the sky. That's the end of the story. Come on guys, we gotta fly. Time for another song. Once upon a time there was a girl called Bella who never wanted to go to sleep. The night before her birthday party, Bella kept her sister awake late into the night because she was giggling and wriggling all over her bed. <laughs> the next morning, when Bella's family got up, they found her in the lounge room moving the furniture around. Bella's mother was amazed. Bella found her sleepy sister making up the party bags in the bedroom. Later, Bella could see her father blowing up lots of coloured balloons for the party. And so, Bella disappeared out the front door to the front gate. About an hour later, Bella's party was all ready. But there was just one thing missing. And the girl who never gets tired was sound asleep. And this is how they did it. Come on, Sleepy, we got another song to sing. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a girl called Emily. Emily was playing in her sand pit. She'd been digging for a few minutes when guess what she found there? An old bottle. So Emily took out the stopper and gave the bottle a rub. Suddenly, Emily became very, very tiny and she found herself inside the genie's bottle. But it wasn't what she expected at all. In fact, it was very messy and a little bit smelly. Suddenly, by magic, Emily found herself back outside. And that's the end of the story. Except now it's time for my wish. I wish for another song. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Serena who had a very special music box. It was the biggest music box in the whole wide world. On the music box were two dancing dolls. Whenever Serena flicked the on switch, the dolls would begin to dance. Every day, Serena played with her music box. She just loved to see the dolls dancing. Sometimes she would even try to copy them. And so it went on. Stop, start, stop, start. Sometimes the dancing dolls got very tired. The dancing doll was right. Serena was about to flick the on switch again. Not long after this, Serena and her family went away on a long trip, all the way to Africa. Because she had to fly there on a plane, Serena was only able to take one small bag. And so when Serena went away, the dancing dolls were left standing on the shelf, very, very still. No one came to flick the on switch. No one came to watch them dance. It felt like a very long time since they'd moved. That very afternoon, Serena returned home from Africa and she was so excited to see her music box. And Serena flicked the on switch and they all danced happily ever after. Come on, we've got some more dancing and singing to do. Bronte was a girl who liked to look at her reflection in the mirror. Bronte's mirror self did everything she did. When Bronte smiled, her mirror self smiled too. And whenever Bronte moved, her mirror self would move in exactly the same way. One afternoon, Bronte snuggled down for her nap. While she was sleeping, Bronte had a funny dream. She dreamt that when she looked in her mirror, her mirror self talked back to her. And there was something else different about the mirror in Bronte's dream. The mirror faded away. And Bronte went on dreaming. Next, she dreamt that she was walking in the park. Now that's different. Her mirror self was now her shadow. And with that, Bronte's shadow disappeared. And Bronte dreamt once more that she was back in her bedroom. And then Bronte's dream came to an end. Come on, sleepyhead, get up, we got a song to sing. There once was a boy called James. He was six years old. 
Every day James would wriggle all his teeth to see if any of them were loose because he really wanted the tooth fairy to come and visit. Poor James. Suddenly James had an amazing idea. So James did something really tricky. He stuck a little piece of black paper over one of his teeth. Now just at this very moment Sparky the tooth fairy was flying by. James's trick had worked. Sparky thought James really had lost a tooth so she flew off to tell her tooth fairy helpers. Now Sparky had been flying around all day and she was feeling very, very tired. Then an incredible thing happened. While Sparky was cleaning her teeth, guess what? Her tooth fell out. This had never happened before. No tooth fairy's tooth had ever fallen out. Sparky didn't know what to do. So Sparky flew off to James's place. James was starting to feel pretty bad about tricking the tooth fairies. So Sparky got the wonderful treat, a little bag of sparkles and fairy dust. And the funny thing was, when James woke up the next day, guess what? His tooth really was wobbly, truly. And by that afternoon, it fell out. Hey, what about me? Well, we don't have any fairy treats left, but um, what Ooh. about... A song! Yeah! yeah. Once upon a time, there were triplets who all slept in the same room. Every morning at seven o'clock, their alarm clock rang. Every day, the same thing happened. Lily and Billy always woke up bright and happy, ready to face another day. But every day, their sister Millie slept in very, very late. But Millie didn't seem to hear. First of all, Lily and Billy tried singing louder to her. Then Billy had a fantastic idea. But still, Millie kept on sleeping. Just then, Billy and Lily had a fantastic idea together. And so the two of them made the world's first ever Millie Waker Upper. And from that day on, Millie never slept in a game, thanks to the Millie Waker Upper. <laughs> Come on, let's get a tickle on. We've got a song to sing. <laughs> Hayley just loves sport. She loved playing all sorts of games. She loved tennis and netball and hopscotch and chasings and loved swimming and surfing and riding her bike. You get the idea. In fact, Hayley loved sports so much that she collected posters of her favourite sports stars and hung them all over the walls of her bedroom. Every night as Hayley climbed into bed, she took a last look at all the posters on her wall. But one night a funny thing happened. Hayley dreamt that the posters of her favourite sports stars came to life. And guess what happened next? Greg, the famous cricket player, jumped out of his frame. But the dream wasn't over yet. Out of another poster leapt Nadia, the famous gymnast. And with that, the sports stars dived back into their posters. And that was the end of Hayley's dream. When Hayley woke up in the morning, for some strange reason, she felt very tired. And that's the end of the story. Hey, sports stars, how about a little bit more exercise? Let's dance. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a caterpillar named Kitty. She wanted to be the best dancer in the whole insect world. There was just one problem. Just then, Gilbert the grasshopper jumped by wearing sneakers. So Kitty the caterpillar visited the bug shoe shop to get three pairs of sneakers. Kitty was very keen to try them out. At that moment, Harriet the huntsman spider spun by. So Kitty dashed back to the bug shoe shop to see if they had any ballet shoes. Luckily, the bug shoe shop had plenty of ballet shoes. Kitty put the ballet shoes on and tried to dance like Harriet. She is. Oh yeah, she is. <laughs> Kitty put on the tap shoes and danced the... Caterpillar tap! <laughs> All this music makes me want to dance, but on two feet. Come on, let's go! Yeah!